In this episode, we're going to do Ernest Hemingway's favorite, the mojito. The, the mojito is traditionally a highball drink served over the ice with the main five ingredients of being rum, sugar or simple syrup, lime juice, sparkling water, and mint. Now the original Cuban recipe uses spearmint or yerba buena. Uh, we're just going to use some mint from the local grocery store. The way I like to do this is I like to start by throwing a couple of limes into the glass. So I'll take a lime wedge or two, squeeze this in there, and then we'll take our mint. And what you can do is you can just kind of wad it up a little bit. I used to tear this in half, and then I talked to a Bacardi rep, and he basically said that you don't want to tear and smash the shit out of this thing. He said, in fact, the best way to muddle mint for a mojito is to just give it about three good muddles. So you basically just want to bruise the leaves of the mint to get them to release the essential oils so that you can get the flavors and the aroma from them. Give these a few little smashes. So now that we have our mint and our lime in there, we're just gonna put a little bit of sugar. Again, this is just simple syrup. If you wanted to be really fancy, you could kind of like an old fashioned muddle water with a sugar cube, but we don't really have time for that and this is just a lot easier. So I'd say maybe that's about a half ounce or so. You don't want to have too much sweetness, but you can kind of add or subtract the amount of simple syrup based on how sweet that you want this drink to be. Then, three, one, one, two, three, two, two full ounces of our rum for this drink. And then I like to just give it a little swirl here. So it just kind of gets everything together. We're gonna fill our glass full of ice. It's always a little trick. If your ice cubes are frozen together, you can actually give them a little pound. From here, you're pretty much good. You can just fill the drink with soda water. Another way is you'll see a lot of people shake this. I tend to like to shake it just to give it a little mix. Um, classically, you would just put soda water on top of the drink and garnish and serve. But we're gonna dump it in. We're just gonna give it a little bit of shake, right? Cause we don't wanna shred the mint. So just a couple of light shakes. And then we're gonna pour this back into our glass. We're gonna lose some mint, but we're gonna put it back in there. There we go. Then we'll fill it with our soda water. Whoa, hey now. This is just some Schweppes soda water. Uh, you'll probably have soda on your gun if you're making this in your bar. Ooh, nice and bubbly. Garnish with another lime. And there you go. There is the classic, delicious, cooling mojito. I love these things. These are one of my favorite cocktails. Whenever we travel abroad, especially when we go down to uh, parts of Indonesia and Bali, one of the areas that we stay in, they do daily happy hour specials where you do two for one mojitos. And man, let me tell you, we definitely take advantage of that happy hour on a very regular basis. Love mojitos. Again, especially in the summertime when it's hot because that mint cools you down. And, you know, squeeze that back in there. If you want a little extra lime, get mixed all up in there. I usually don't use straws myself personally, just because when I'm drinking something with a straw, I drink it way too fast. So there you go. There is the mojito. Let me know if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm Jason, this has been making you a bartending pro and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. For more, check out these playlists. And subscribe to get new videos 